Hi everybody, it's Tina with Rehatch Designs and I'm here with to do a little video um, on something that I saw um, Andrea on Artie Mays do and it's kind of what she did but a little bit different and I've seen a few other people kind of do it and I've never tried it and it's a great idea um, but it's to make these little kind of glossy uh, charm thingies or whatever and um, I'm doing a little bit different. She did it kind of with these numbers and I've seen other people do it with other things and um, um, I am using um, different things. This was done with, um, here hold on let me get my stuff off of here. It's in a pile. Let me get it all off of here. This was done, this one that I did with uh, diamond glaze and it works it's a dimensional type of glue and it makes it kind of like a a glossy finish on it and what this is is this is one of those um let me see if I get one here these little tag things and i think they use them uh for like uh you know marking keys or something a lot of times in an um, office, they'll have like a key box. I know when I worked at the bank, we had a locked key box and they would mark them all with these little tags. And I got mine, a package of them at the dollar store. I don't remember how many were in, probably at least 20. Uh, I do know you can get them at office supply stores, except it's usually a pretty big quantity. They're not expensive. And I just thought these would be really cool to use. Um, like on a journal or something like see this one get a little bulb pin here and you could just put that because it's kind of already like a tag type thing anyway and you could just put that in there and pin it on to things um, I just thought that was kind of a neat thing to do so um, I think Artie Mays kind of made them like numbers and then she would, you know, to glue on to things. Um, which, I mean, you can, once you learn how to do this, you can do anything with them. These are just done on those tags and I thought the tags are already there. It kind of makes them kind of cool. So anyway, um, let me just show you the kind of things I'm going to be using. Um, I'm obviously looking for little embellishments, just little things, um, you know, like you could use that, or, um, maybe I'm going to, I'm going to try doing it with some stamps. Also, I have these little deals that I got, um, gosh, a long time ago in a uh, package, and I'm sure I got them at a craft store. Let me see where the other ones are. It was like a package of them, and I'm not, not this, not this, this is the key thing. Um, and I'm not sure, it just has like vellum in them. And so I'm not sure if this will work or not, but I'm going to give it a try because, um, I don't know, I've never used them. So I thought maybe I'll try some of those. Um, let me show you some of the ones I've already done. This one is just a, a small tag, and I think I got that from uh, Field Notes. And I just put an eyelet in it, and I did both sides. And I backed the back part of it with um, just some uh, dictionary page, and then I did that. And I thought that was kind of cute. Um, this is one I did, and it's just like the other one. Now, see on the glossy accents. Okay, they, t they turn out very similar. Um, I did this one and the other one. I did those with ultra thick embossing enamel, clear, and um, the thick. If you have regular um, embossing enamel, it will work. You just have to do more coats of it. Um, I happen to have the ultra thick, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Andrea did hers with that. Um, so, anyway, this is, um, 
the ultra thick and I'm it's okay I guess it's from Ranger I have had this forever um, I guess I got it at Hobby Lobby and it was expensive $10.99 I'm sure I didn't pay that I'm sure I did at least a 40% off coupon because I I wouldn't have paid that um, but anyway this stuff works really great um, I kind of like it better because it's a lot faster and um, I don't know and see this one seemed to have more bubbles on it not a lot I mean it still looks pretty cool but I mean I had to wait like I don't know three hours for it to be completely dry and I haven't even done the back of it right because I had to wait for it to dry I'm gonna do the back but I'll probably emboss the back this one I did in a matter of minutes and I'll show you how to do that it has a little bee on one side and a butterfly on the other and it was you know it just took minutes to do it so I'm like okay well given the choice I don't know I think I'd rather do the minutes um, the only thing is like I said I'm not sure if on these vellum ones the um, the embosser uh, the uh, heat gun might melt the vellum so I don't know anyway so then I did some others where I didn't do a tag these are just um, pieces out of um, I think one of the Tim Holtz uh, packages of ephemera and um, I just did both sides of that so like if you did want something like that dimensional to, to glue down now there I tried one without um, putting anything on the back and the paper kind of warped so the paper if your paper is not very thick you really need to back it with something um, and this one turned out really good and that's because I backed it with this um, very very lightweight um, I don't know if it's light it's really it might be a lightweight chipboard like probably the weight of a uh, cereal box or something like that okay that's about how heavy it is um, you wouldn't want it too heavy because you know then it'd be it'd be kind of a head well I guess you could do it but it'd be kind of hard to cut out so anyway that's what I was using on some of them um, on this one like I said on this one I just used dictionary page and it turned out fine uh, let's see this one I did the chipboard and this is just a little um, thing this I did the dictionary page and it turned out fine this is just a little um, it looks like a little uh, uh, postcard or yeah I guess a little postcard and like I said the one that was really thin it kind of curled up a little bit so you kind of have to have it you know reasonably thick you it doesn't matter on these okay these are just little let me show you Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Anyway, um, let's just see. Like, we could do this little bug. This little teeny tiny butterfly. This little deal. Anyway, um, here's a little bigger butterfly. might work. Let's just try one and then I've got more things over here I want to do. Um, anyway, you need something small enough. It could be something that you fussy cut, something, anything really. Like see this bug? He's too big for this round thing. But that, I'm not going to give up on him. I'm going to try him on something else. Maybe I'll try him on here. I don't know. We'll try that in, we'll try that in a minute. Okay, but anyway... Um, the diamond glaze works if you have it it's just you have to be prepared to wait and you know there's nothing wrong with you just could do a bunch of them let them sit overnight and then do the other side and you'd be fine with that so that's my only thing is it just took a long time this was easy and you know okay so I use my Versamark uh, ink pad that you use for embossing got that and then I used my ultra thick and pretty much that's it I mean I didn't really do um, that much I've got my little pan here you can use whatever you have 
Okay, so I'm going to take this off because I didn't really want this ring on there. I mean, you could leave it on. But like I said, I got these at the dollar store and they have them all the time. It's not like they run out, but in their like office supplies um, area, they have these usually always. Um, so the first thing I did, where'd my, I thought I had a butterfly picked out. Didn't I? Did I put it in here? I'm going crazy. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so let's see if this one fits on there. Oh, see, he's too big, too. I mean, it would work, but it's not going to work. Okay, so let's pick something else. This little tiny one. Okay, so that one can fit on there. And let's find something for the other side. I picked out a bunch of little things on here so okay we've got like a little flower we could put on there okay so what I did first um, is I took the first time I did it I used um, my uh, gl my glue stick which is very you know sticky but it just um, it really um, I don't know it kind of um, I was going to ink this. Um, it kind of um, didn't hold as well as putting the... Uh, I'm just kind of rolling the edges in there. The, that one didn't really matter. This one's got a lot of white on it. And I kind of want it to not be so white. I guess I could use something to do that with. Let's see. I can maybe just take this. Oh, it's more than I wanted. Oh, well, it'll still work. Okay, so what I'll do first is I'll go ahead and put this on. I don't know if I need to make this a little closer. Let me see. Oh, maybe a little bit. Let's make it a little bit closer. Going the wrong way. Yeah, I think that, let me see if that, yeah, that'll be close enough. I think that'll work. Okay, so anyway, I just glued it down. And because our glitter glue goes so fast, and I kind of tried to make it flat as I could on there. So that's on there. And then... This little teeny tiny one here. And a lot of this stuff I got, like I said, out of field notes and some other stuff I don't know, I just had. So, you know, you want to kind of position it where you want it. I'll just let that dry a little bit. So anyway, guys, I hope everyone is having a good day. I have had a very crafting day. I've been doing things, catching up on stuff, and then tomorrow I probably won't do any crafting at all. So I'm trying to get a lot of it in today so I can get some things done. I'm looking in here. I picked out some things and they might a lot of them might end up being too big for these. Anyway, so I'm gonna take this and now that these are pretty much dry, I'm going to go ahead and let me get this ready. I'm going to get some of the stuff out of the way. Put these over there. Need those. That'll be my next one. Okay, so let me move that. Get everything out of the way so y'all can see exactly what I'm working on. Okay, so I'm going to take my Versamark, and what I did is I kind of just squished this in there. That's my term. I wonder what I did with my tweezers, because I'm probably going to need those. I did use my tweezers, and I also used this little awl to kind of hold it down, because this thing, the metal will get hot on this, so you kind of want to have something... So I made sure I got a good amount of that stuff on there. And then I just took my embossing stuff and 
sprinkled it on, kind of patted it down a little. So then, here, let me kind of get that out of there. And you want to try not to touch, and it doesn't matter if it gets it on the metal, it's just fine, it'll be fine. And I took my tweezers and here, let me make, actually I want it to go that way so I can hold it with my left hand. Okay, so you really want your tweezers to hold it. If you guys have not gotten one of those, these, and then there's different brands, but the ones where, you know, you squeeze them to open them instead of, the, it's the opposite of what you normally do. When I first got these, I thought this is worthless. I mean, I don't why I couldn't get used to them. These are the greatest tool because it did. It just dawned on me finally. I was watching a video or something. Yeah, it's so you cannot have to do anything, and I'm holding them right now. Okay, so I don't have to squeeze. I don't have to do anything because normally you'd be squeezing to hold it. No, you squeeze it to open it. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so anyway, um, gonna take my heat gun. And I am just going to heat this up. And it normally doesn't take that long, but your heat gun takes a little while to um, heat up, so. So anyway, that is your first coat, okay? So now what I'm going to do, and if you can see, it's already pretty glossy. But I am going to take, where did it go again? I'm, here, I'll put that under here. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. It only takes seconds, really. And then I'm going to dip it in again. I'm going to leave it in the tweezers. And I'm going to pour some more on. Okay, so there's another coat. Put this over here so we don't blow all that everywhere. So we're going to heat it up again. Again, a little too close, that's why it's bubbling. And if it kind of messes up, what's wonderful about this, you just reheat it. Alright, that's pretty much perfect. So with the thick um, embossing, uh, embossing enamel or whatever, it you only need about two coats and it's the same as you would get with pretty much with the um, the uh, diamond glaze it's about the same thickness okay so and don't worry about these sides because it'll go away in a minute so I just let it kind of cool off for about 10 20 seconds and then we're going to do the back okay so the trick is when you start doing the back, it will heat up the front too. So you got to kind of be careful. But if you mess it up, like I said, see there's little beads on the end. They'll come right off and they'll melt right on there. So, um, okay, so that's plenty dry. And then I, I'm taking my tweezers with it, with the tweezers in here and I'm just smooshing it in there because this is dry it's already dry so you don't have to worry about that and I just keep putting it on in here until I you need to pour it back in here I'm not worried about you know okay so that's coated I don't know how these things keep showing up everywhere so we'll dry these like a little dot there. I don't know where it came from, but probably from some other embossing that was in that thing.
All right. So we'll wait a couple seconds. And you can see, I mean, you could really get away with one if you wanted to, but I kind of like it kind of thick. I like it to where it's all, you know, level. Okay, so we'll do it one more time. Make sure that's dry enough. And what will happen, like I said, is the front will heat up too a little bit. So you got to be careful. But like if you mess up, and I'm sure I will mess up one of these times so I can show you. It's no big deal. Okay, now you could dip it back in here if you want. Because you've got enough in there to make it pretty easy. You're just trying to get a nice thick coat on there. I don't know why all my stuff keeps moving so much. Probably because I'm blowing it everywhere. Okay, so... I could stop and start the video every time I turn this on, but honestly guys, this is part of the process. And it would take me forever to edit it, so I'm probably not going to do that. Okay, I think we're done. We're all done. I'm doing the sides just to kind of get the little, little beads on the sides melted. Right? These, now see, you have to turn it over because when you dip it in there, you're going to wind up getting um, some beads on the other side and, and that just melts them off. Okay, so now they're melted on both sides. So we are just going to wait about 10 seconds. And you don't want to touch it before then because you'll get like a fingerprint in there. So anyway, okay, I think we're done. Oh, did I just put some on there? I don't think so. Okay, now this has happened to me before where my little... Um, what happens is my tweezers kind of make a little mark on here. I try and hold it just on the metal, but sometimes it'll go. Because what will happen is when you dip it in there, the glue will get on the tweezers. And then the stuff will stick to it. and That's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'm just kind of scraping off the little extra piece right here. That's kind of what I use this for. Also, if I want to punch a hole, a tiny hole in it. Okay, so there it is. That's done, okay? And honestly, that just took, you know, a couple minutes. So then I'll just take my little pin here and... Put that in there, and then that is ready to go somewhere. All done. Okay, oop, it just popped open. That was weird. Okay. Anyway, let's do another one. So that's that. And we've done both sides. Um, I want to kind of try one of these things. I'm going to take the string off because I'm not crazy about it. Where did my scissors go? So I'm not going to use that string. And like I said, I haven't tried this, so I don't know whether it'll work. How about if we put this bug on there? Wouldn't that be cool? Got to poke out these little parts right here. And, I don't know, he doesn't have any white on the end, so I can put him right on there. Anyway, I used my glue stick the other time, and it just didn't stick down as well. It stuck, but not as well as the art glitter glue, so. And the thing is, is you don't, if it starts curling up, then you're going to have issues, and you don't want it to curl up, so. You definitely don't have to put as much glue as I just did, that's for sure. Put a lot on there, but it'll be alright. 
So let's kind of position him on there. And I want to keep the opening to where I can get it. And I kind of want him inside the box. Okay. Kind of smush him all down. Well, I got this all over. Well, hopefully it dries clear. All right, so that's down there. And then let's see what else we can put on the other side that would not fit on another one. How about this ladybug? That kind of covers him up. I'll put the ladybug on there. Right? All right, so we got that. Mm. All right. Is that down there? It looks like it needs a little glue right on the end. Okay, let me put this back in, let it dry. So we're basically going to do the same thing. Got it all smushed. All right, where'd my tweezers go? Here we go. Let me get all as much gunk off as I can. And again, I'm gonna try and hold it just on the metal if I can. You know, but you still gotta get a good grip on it, so that's the trick. Okay, so let's see, I'll smush the bug side first. And I'm just smushing it in there, okay? That's just so it has good coverage. And then I'm going to pour some more on there. I could have poured it back in, but I got plenty left. So. so you can see I'm getting a pretty good coat on there. And honestly, when I've been doing these, I think two is plenty. Now, if you have, I didn't try it with my thinner embossing, but I would imagine you'd probably have to do it about four times. All right, so I'm going to hold this farther away because I don't want to melt the vellum. So it is going to take a little bit longer. And I'm moving my heat gun around. so good. It is kind of buckling the vellum a little bit, so I don't know if it works as well as the um, paper, but we'll see. Let's see, we're going to let that kind of sit there for a second. And, oh look, see I covered up that hole and I was trying not to. That's not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and take this and put it in here while I'm waiting for that. And then... And this is just a, a makeup brush that I got at the dollar store. And I think it works better than anything when I'm trying to do this glitter anything you it's just a soft brush so it does a good job I'm not trying to get every bit of it out but just enough to wear it does I don't want I just don't want it blowing everywhere as we're doing this okay so that's certainly dry on that side um, it is it's see what it does is I think it kind of makes the uh, vellum kind of pop up but I think it'll still work I think it's just going to take more coats. That's what I think is going to happen. Okay, so let's do it again. Get more. And I'm just, like I said, smooshing it in there. Okay, 
I'm going to put this further back because I think it is blowing some of it everywhere and it's going to be a mess later. All right. If you do it underneath, what it'll do, it should make the vellum go the other way. Let's see. And it did a little bit. Oops. Okay, so I think it's working okay. Um, the issue on this one is because it's vellum, you can see through the other side. But the way that this is, these things are, they have like a decorative paper on it. So it actually doesn't look too bad. So anyway, I'm going to do, it's only taking two coats on that too. I'm going to let it dry it just a couple seconds. And we'll do the other side. I don't, like I said, if you push it too soon, then you'll end up with a fingerprint on it. And you don't want that. Okay, I think that's good. We'll find out, won't we? Okay. Anyway, you get the drill. We're just going to do this until we get enough coats on it. Okay, so don't let that dry for a second. I think it's turning out. Oh, it bubbled on the other side. Look at that. That's okay. I think we can fix it. We'll see. That's kind of weird because I wasn't doing it from underneath. So that's just a little strange. Huh. We'll see. Well, hopefully we can fix that. We'll go back and fix it in a second. Okay, is that dry? Yeah, it's dry. I think I'm going to put some on the other side too at the same time, which I have done, done both sides at the same time, and it does work. Okay, try this again, and this time I'm doing both sides. I'm doing this side and that side. Let's see what happens. And I'm mainly doing it because um, it did bubble up a little bit, so. All right, let's try that again.
And you know, all this is is plastic that you're melting. So, I mean, that's all that's happening. Yeah, it's like this part right there just got too hot or something. And it's bubbling up, so let's see. A lot of times if you reheat it, then those bubbles come out. This looks like they keep reforming, so I don't know. There we go, that's good. So if you do have like some little spots that are not covered or bubbles or something like that, just go back over it and all you're doing is remelting it. So okay, and I don't know if this is not done or what. I don't know why this doesn't want to melt right there. It's like the metal really is taking a long time to melt. I'm not sure why. But I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to let that dry for a couple seconds. And you can see it worked pretty good. Um, I don't know why this is like not uh, melting right here in this corner. It's kind of weird. But it still looks pretty cool, I think. So, now watch this. My, yeah, my tweezers are going to be stuck on there a little bit. Oh, good. It didn't do too bad. Okay, so, let's see. Where was the hole in this thing? It got completely buried. Let's see. I don't remember where I put it. You can't even see it anymore. I'm just going to punch another hole in there. I'll probably just put it right here. What I did on some of these, and I think what I'll do too, is on this one, I'm going to punch a hole, just a pretty good size one, because I'm going to put an eyelet in it. I'm trying to think where I want it to hang. Yeah, I think that would be good. I'm going to put it right about here. And it's actually better to do it after you've done it because it's pretty thick. Um, it's kind of cool. So I'm going to put this eyelet in. It wasn't exactly in the middle, but it's still pretty good. And then I guess I could put a silver one. Nah, that's okay. And then I'm going to do that. So actually, I think that turned out pretty good. Um, I'm thinking maybe the ones that are not um, clear would probably work better. I think I could do that eyelet better. Hold on. I don't think I squished it enough. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so anyway, there's number two. Right? That's not bad. I do think, where did my file thing go? There's like a tiny pieces on the end. And if that happens and you don't want to remelt it, you can melt it down. But you can just take your file and go like that and it comes right off. So you don't have to go through the reheating to get it off of there. So anyway, and there's a tiny little piece right there. So there you go, guys. There's another one. Um, Let's see. I wanted to try some things that were not on the metal deals there. So let's try that. Like, okay, let's say for instance, I don't know what I was going to use. I thought about, wouldn't it be cool to do a stamp like that? But I do know that, um, or maybe a stamp and a ticket. 
you know, would that be cool? Something like that. Or maybe just a bigger stamp. I don't know. Let's try that. Let's just try the stamp. So anyway, I thought, you know, I'm going to try that. I haven't done one yet. But I think the same rule applies. you got to have it glued on. And then you you can't really just do it on something really um, that's not thick enough. Because what happens is it just kind of... Oh, shoot. I was trying to get that. Yeah, that's good. So it's right on the edge. So I'm going to try that because I thought that would be kind of cool. I'm going to do that. Just to see how that turns out. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put a hole on that or not. Yeah, I think I will. Kind of put it like right in the middle, maybe. All right, so now I'm going to take my tweezers and basically just do the same thing, only there's no metal. So I'm going to take that and Now this time I'm going to do both sides and it gets a little tricky because you're putting it in there with the, you don't want to take off too much of the glue. Okay. And I have enough I can just dip it in. I think we'll be fine. And dip it in both sides. That way it goes a little bit faster. And then, okay, now watch this. We're going to do something a little different. And get in the back. Okay, now watch this, guys. I'm gonna while this is still kind of wet, which you don't have a big um, time span there. While it's still kind of wet, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna dip it in here again. I'm just dipping it back in while it's still wet. And what it does is it puts the next coat on, so you don't have to um, dip it in the uh, Versamark again. Alright, so that is a really quick way of doing it because um, what you've done basically is you're just using the actual um, beads to catch the, the second layer. So anyway, let me take my tweezers off. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Yep, yeah, see, it kind of messes it up where you have your tweezers because you don't, you're not, you don't have the metal, but no, that's not real bad. That's pretty good actually. So then again... Just take your, your pen and you've got a little stamp. And like I said, they all, when I did it before, the problem was is that you can't, if it's thin material, you really, it doesn't, uh, it just warps it too much. So I think that turned out pretty cool, right? So, you know, that could be easily dangling from something. Okay, so now let's say we want to do, um, let me look in here and see what I got. I'm mainly just doing small things, so, and you would not be able to do anything that's too plastic because it would, um, it would warp it too much, I think. Okay, so this is um, Expedition and Thrift Shop. And then they have a lot of really small, cool things in here. 
that I think would work really well. You don't want anything too big, I don't think. But let's see. <laughs> okay, so let's say we want to do this special delivery. That'd be cool, right? So again, we would need to um, glue it on first which I did not put my hole in my glue, so hopefully I can get it to work. All right, I'll put that there. Put my pin in this time. If I can find it. Let's see, I'm gonna try and get this to where I don't have to do too much cutting. Okay. I'm just going to let that sit there for a second. Where'd my pen go? Gosh darn it. I don't know what I did with that. Hmm, interesting. I usually have a spare one around too, but I don't know what I did with that either. Huh, okay. I don't know. Well, I guess I won't worry about it right this second. Let's see, where'd this other top go? That's just so weird, it's so big. You know how I have my little chain thing? It's kind of hard for me to lose it. So I don't know what I did that possibly didn't fall to the ground. I don't know, folks, it just disappeared. That is so bizarre. Huh, okay, well, I'll deal with that later. Okay, so, um, Let's cut this out. There we go. Just cut out a bigger piece so I can get to it. Anyway, we're going to take this. And like I said, you just want something that's, you know, reasonably sturdy to put it on. And then I'm going to do that. This has got a lot of glue on there, or a lot of stuff on there, so I'm get it off. And we're just going to do the same thing. Um, and I'm going to just, I'm going to go ahead and just smush it in with my hands first, and then, and we're going to do this the same way we did the last one. The only thing is, when you do both sides, you kind of have to try and make sure you don't take too much of the, the stuff off. And you've got a fairly good amount of time when you work with this, so it's not like it doesn't, you know, I'm just dipping it in there. I could pour it. Oh well, it came off the tweezers, so I'll just, you know, you're just coating it with this stuff, so it's not a it's not a tough process. The thing is, I want to make sure I, when I put the tweezers on here, it is going to take some off, so I'll have to go back in and deal with that. Okay, let's make sure we get that out of the way. I want it close enough that I can grab it, but I don't want to, um, you know... Okay, so now while it's warm, I'm going to move this over here, and it, 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 it literally dries in seconds, so you have to kind of 
be ready to go to put it in there so that it grabs the second coat or it will not work. Like see the front part was already too dry. It didn't it didn't grab very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up again. It didn't grab very much. See in that amount of time it already dries. So I'm gonna heat it up again. And hopefully it'll stay warm long enough so we can do that. So you really have to just work super fast when you do this. I'm going to just take it. I'm not even bothering to turn off my heat gun because I don't have that much time. I don't know, guys. It didn't, I don't think it stuck very good that time. Let's see. That might be enough. There's, if it's messed up on the side, this is already dry on the back. You can just take it, and this is what I use this for, is I used it just to hold down in like a very small portion, because it'll blow around if you, you don't do that. Alright, oops, it's heating up my mat here. Hold on. Yeah, it kind of, it's too close to the mat. There we go. There's like a little section right there that didn't have any. So I just want to make sure I get it kind of coated. And it's still some, it's not going to have any on That's weird. And this stuff is kind of like it's self-leveling or something. It'll just kind of do its own thing. And hold that down. There we go. I think this side had some that wasn't dry. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I think we're good. I'm just going to kind of... And it's interesting because if you have a little mistake, like I said, if you want to remelt it, it just, it does, it just kind of all works out. Okay, so this one's done. All right. Okay. So now, let me show you what we've done. Let's see what our time looks like. Yeah, we pretty much need to hang it up. Um, so let's... You know, I think it's kind of a cool thing to do. I think, um, like, see this one and that one, you could put on something, um, you know, on a page or something, and it's dimensional and it looks glossy, and that would be kind of cool. Then you've got your little stamp that you could hang off of something. Um, this thing, it turned out actually pretty good. I was kind of getting a little worried there. It didn't turn out too bad. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, obviously, like I said, you can do the glossy accents. Um, if you prefer to do that, I mean, like I said, you could just take a bunch of them, put them, do, glue them all down and do it with that and they turn out fine. I mean, you know, there's nothing, um, you know, you just do one side and then the next day do a bunch of the others. And then that's another one. And then here, that's that little tag. That's the one where we just put the, uh, paper on the back, but I didn't show you that, but anyway, you just put paper on the back instead of the, um, instead of the, the board, and then there's another one. I did show you putting the eyelet in here, and then here's another one that's just done like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I got for you. Um, do not forget about my giveaway Fridays. Um, you need to be a subscriber to win. Uh, make a comment on a video um, just any time during the week, Friday through Friday. Um, one comment per video. It can be an old video, new video, doesn't matter. And I give away all kinds of things, uh, you know, journals and things we make and, um, 
you know, part of my stash. You have until Thursday of the next week to notify me, and give me your address. And uh, if you don't win, then it goes back in the pot and then I, I draw it again and I also do a new prize. So there's some weeks I may have two or three things I'm giving away. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and got something out of it and hopefully we'll uh, see you guys again soon. So take care and um, you guys have a great day.